there are dead children in Tennessee. <laughs> Uh, so this is this is quite called call, caused quite the kerfuffle. Um, this young lady here went to a Presbyterian school in in uh, Tennessee, and she did not necessarily have a good time. So, as an adult, she acquired a firearm and went to her Presbyterian school, elementary school, I think. It might be all, I don't remember if it was elementary school or like a full school because it's like a religious school. Uh, but she then killed three nine-year-olds and three adults, who I believe were faculty, uh, before the brave Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee police stormed the building. They didn't wait outside waiting for the feds to tell them that they can go in. They went in there with their guns and shot her dead. And, uh, and then after she was shot, she kind of like seized on the ground a bit. So they shot her some more and it's pretty great. Um, I don't understand. I would hope that in the future faculty will also be armed. There is literally no reason not to have armed faculty at these schools anymore. However, the fallout of this is really amazing. Um, because it is a true, and this is like, I want to say the third female to male, mass shooting that we've seen like in the last couple of years. And when you consider that female to male troons are like 0.5% because it's like 1% of the people are trans in the U S right now, but this is a, a woman. So this is 0.5% of the population has committed 3% of the um, active shootings, not mass shootings in the FBI definition of three or more kills in one crime spree, but the active shooting definition, it is horrifically overrepresented. It's massive. Um, it's a little bit crazy, which makes me think that when you take a person who already have mental illnesses and you pump them full of monkey juice also known as testosterone um the the fragile mind of a human being especially one that is meant to be a woman with that kind of monkey juice built into them um just makes you go fucking crazy and you start killing people because that when you have high testosterone i think that would be an interesting study i think if you have high testosterone I bet you violence in your like in your logical machinations of your brain, violence becomes a more rational like a acceptable answer. If you take a woman and you pose her like four different options to a to a question, like like say a political option, any any kind of political option that could involve force, a woman will almost always choose anything except violence. I bet you. But then when you get to men, depending on their their predispositions, they may choose violence. But I bet you if you take like a monkey man, like a proper juiced up weightlifter, and you say you have this option as you could, you know, do like a trade deal. You could do like a negotiation. You could figure something else out. Or you could just send over the military and fucking kill them all. I bet you once you have, especially if you have extra testosterone being shot into you, your option of kill them all is is more appealing over time. Uh, just a thought. Um, now this, there, I, I almost never in my streams, even though I do TTD quite a bit, there is a manifesto. Um, I, it's very obvious what, why they do this. The Tennessee passed bans on transgender shit and transitioning recently. So, um, the, the police department has been very forthcoming with getting the videos out, which is applaudable because usually they try to hide them. It's obvious that some places in the U.S. like Tennessee are based and they will kill you if you fuck around with a weapon. And they will release your your the video of you being shot to death uh, as a warning to other people. Um, and they, I guess the, I don't know what they're doing with the manifesto. The, the feds are probably involved at this point and say no. Do not release the manifesto. And that's probably going to go to a federal court thing. The FBI is going to give them like an order. Don't you dare release this manifesto. You're going to, you're going to get people shooting each other and then it's going to go to court and it's going to be appealed and go to federal court. Then eventually there'll be an injunction given to Tennessee and then they'll say, okay, we're releasing the manifesto. Go fuck yourself. That's what's probably going to happen. Um, 
No, there there is a dichotomy to this. Yes, this woman is incredibly evil, obviously. Yes, this woman is incredibly mentally ill. No, female to males are not less mentally ill than male to females. I think there's a different origin. I think male to females are molested and or pornography addicts. And then w once you're that addicted to pornography, a man will eventually see being a woman and being a, a submissive as like the most ultimate kind of, of turn on. With women, I think that female to males are almost exclusively sexual assault survivors who want to make themselves as unattractive to men as possible. And that's why they go that route. I think that's almost always what happens with them. Uh, so uh, it, either side of the either branch, I think that is rooted in abuse and and mental illness. Um, it's just a little bit more tragic when it comes to the female to males because it's self inflicted, or or it's not self inflicted rather. However, the other tragic element of the female to males is number one, it's it's less self inflicted. The other one is that people don't care about the female to males as much. Uh, and I will explain my position uh, throughout this because I, I have another thing to talk about, not kind, not really related to this. That is interesting to me. Um, so this is a person. This message got deleted by Reddit Legal in a mod of the subreddit, and this person is, is explaining that the violent rhetoric from transgenders and Antifa uh, definitely contributed to this because. The rhetoric from the far left, progressive elements, and transgender people is violent. It's like, either you do what I want or I'll kill you. That's like the bumper sticker. And then there's a little trans flag and an AK-47 and then like a pitchfork crossed together. And it's like, do what I say or I'll fucking murder you. <laughs> that, that's the message. And then they say, well, you know, normal people look at this and go, well, that's the result of when you say, do what I say or I'll fucking murder you. People will actually start doing that. Uh, so Takesh Schold, who got deleted by Reddit Legal, says, Trans posters and trans forums and trans accounts and Twitter regularly promote violence against quote-unquote Nazis and quote-unquote turfs and quote-unquote dashes. They mean it. They want violence. They talk about punching, shooting, stabbing, beating with baseball bats, and they put all the images of rifles on trans flags. And when you look at the targets of the rhetoric, most of the targets aren't actually Nazis, turfs, or fascists. They're dissident voices, conservative Christians and feminists and everyday people who don't hold the fringe belief about sex that many trans people hold. Last week, I saw a video of a 72-year-old butch woman being punched full force, closed fist by a bearded trans rights protester in New Zealand. I saw trans people commenting to minimize or justify it. I see a lot of that. I've been seeing it for years. So has everyone else on social media. The community tells trans youth that they're under attack, under threat of genocide, tells them death before detransition. The community tr says trans kids are being killed by legislation. Two trans people have now taken guns in the schools and literally killed children as revenge. The murderous and suicidal rhetoric, the violence against women and children should be stopped years ago. Another good time to discontinue it would be now. I go into trans subs to see that almost every reaction to the murder of young children is self concern I'm the victim here. I'm in more danger than ever before. This is genocide against us, and every time this murder's identity and motives are mentioned, we're being killed. There is the problem. You can't fix it alone. It's horrific and immense and intense, and it's overwhelming. Uh, there would have to be a consensus that things need to change. I don't know what it would take. Maybe it's too late, and this is what the trans movement has become, and this is how it ends. Very smart. Well, incredibly well written, um, high IQ post here by Takesh Hold. However, or takes hold. <laughs> it's two words: takes hold, not Takesh Hold. Even though that sounds a little bit better. Uh, so takes hold says this very smart, big brain, high IQ. Reddit legal goes, uh, uh, too smart for Reddit. We gotta delete this shit, and there, and it's gone, and it's gone. And it's gone. You thought you could say shit on the internet? Go fuck yourself to Kesh Uh Example of the response on Twitter, the other bastion of intellectual discussion, Karen Lopez at Data Chick, which is a name I'm familiar with. I can't remember why. This must be a, a Drop Kiwi Farms weirdo. Five times seen and misgendered. No correction. A mass shooting is horrible. Misgendering does not make anything better. So obviously that's stupid. However, they bring up an interesting point, chat. Why is CNN misgendering an F to M? Is it, it, it really does confuse me, chat. What is, <laughs> what is the issue? 
Is it that they don't want the they they do they not want to mention that this person is transgender, but they don't hide that really in the articles that the person was transgender. They pretty much outright say that the motives were politically uh, aligned towards uh, the trans legislation stuff. It's just that they don't give a fuck. They don't care that this. They don't give a fuck about a female to male. It just looks like a little girl holding a gun wearing boys' clothes. So they don't give a fuck. It, but why? <laughs> why is it like this? Why do the female to males get zero respect? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's like, I guess they thought being a man would be easier than being a woman. And then they become a, a man. And it's like, oh, well, you don't, you're so short. You're a manlet. You got wide, effeminate hips. Um, yeah, you just kind of look like a little girl to me. I'm I'm not gonna bother with this shit. Call you Adrian. Fuck that. And I'm I'm really stumped on this. Uh, this is one of those Reddit posts that uh, Takesh Hold was talking about, and uh, this is by Captain Fuzzy Boots three days ago. My thoughts on the shooting to our queer defense front. I didn't know where to write this, but I feel like I need to get it out. The sub seems safe since it's members only currently. First off, I absolutely abhor what this person did. I do not in any way defend what they did, why they did it, etc. It is a horrible tragedy. That said, I am feeling so conflicted here. No matter the reason, this is going to result in further deaths and targeted killings of trans people. Like, what the fuck was that person thinking? I have this feeling it's going to come out that they did they did it as some sort of revenge or shit for anti-trans and shit. If that's the case, what the fuck? They just made everything 100% worse. I'm, I'm hoping that it's 100 times worse, not 100% worse. Come on now. We literally have armed protests outside of drag shows before this shit. Then my in my next post that I feel guilty and extremely guilty and shame for thinking the constant misgendering in the news about this person. I don't mean to imply that this person is not a monster, but the message it is sending to every other trans person that your basic identity can be revoked. Yes, this person did absolutely inhumane, monstrous things, but literally every other serial killer, mass shooter, etc. are described as what they are. This just feels like, I don't know, maybe I'm fucked up for thinking these things. Tranifestations, which is supposed to sound like manifestations, but... When you write it like this, it, it, it sounds like trans infestations as opposed to trans manifestations. Uh, this is a bearded uh, soy jack. I don't know. What do you call the Reddit thing? It just looks like a soy jack to me with like an alien doodad on its head. A snoo. His snoo. His snoo chat has a beard. I hear you on the mis misgendering. We deserve to have our gender honored, even if we are monsters. We don't misgender cis people when they murder. Doesn't excuse anything. It's just basic. And it's Sammy the Fox says, I strongly agree with the sentiment. Strongly agree. Well, can we get an op Come on now. This is just fringe lunatics on Discord. Can we get an opinion from someone who really knows what they're talking about? Can we get A lot of people on the right. Who are making a super big deal out of the fact that uh, this one killer was trans. Hey, J Dot. You know that what this is like the third this is like the third trans person who was a uh, to engage in a mass shooting? Right, like there's been three, right? This is like the third one, right? First trans man to do it. The other two, I guess, were trans women. So like, but yeah, like third trans person to go on a mass, uh, to engage, to do a mass shooting. And yeah, oh, and one non-binary. So four, so four then, technically. And yeah, fucking people in fucking Congress trying to make it as the, you know, fucking Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Walsh and fucking everybody on the right. Like, oh, the, clearly this is proof that the trans people are unbalanced. Clearly, clearly the issue is trans people. Four fucking people and four fucking people out of like, out of several, out of like 2,800 or something like that. 
There's been like 2,800, there's been something like 2,800 uh, mass shooters. Maybe not 2,800, but, you know, there's been hundreds and hundreds of mass shooters. And like, four of them are trans. And, uh, yeah, let's focus on it. The problem is the trans people. Clearly, the problem is trans people are crazy. I lost my tribute in This water is really murky. That's bizarre. My favorite part is when he's when he gets corrected on the number. There's only been like two. There's only been like three. There's only been like four. <laughs> he's just keeping getting out. I was hoping it would just keep going. Okay, so maybe there was like 16 trans shooters. Just keep going forever and ever. Um, <laughs> let's get more. Let's get more of these sane takes. Here's one from Libs of TikTok. A for mention. Uh, this is a appears to be a real woman on on TikTok, but let's see what she has to say. I wonder if the parents of the victims of the Nashville shooting today would still have their children if these trans bills in Tennessee were never a thing. I'm not a parent, but if I were, I'd be real, real mad at the government. I'd be real, real mad at the government. Not a parent, and we're thankful for that. Uh, yeah, do what I do what I th do what I say, or I'll fucking kill you. Here's another one. Uh, there's so many great reactions that come out of this. But it is not out of fear, or trepidation, but out of indignation and righteous anger. I've been graciously provided by this body a mere two minutes to plead the case for my humanity. This morning, I spent not an inconsequential amount of time pondering what to wear, how to do my makeup, what I should sound like, how I could best present myself to make my humanity clear and obvious to this committee. Isn't that a shame? In reality, it should be obvious that I'm deserving of the same rights and privileges afforded everyone else. By hiding your big, bigotry behind children like cowards, you will find yourself on the wrong side of history. By manipulating the words of an ancient text and shoehorning it into legislation aimed at an at-risk minority population, you liken yourselves to another group that gained popularity in Germany in the 1930s. Oh my god. I, I'll be honest, I didn't listen to this one before playing it, because um, I listened to it a little bit and like, yeah, that's perfect. I'll throw this on. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> how... <laughs> The Nazis are dead. The Nazis are dead. My great grandfather killed them all. They're all fucking dead. They don't exist anymore. There's none in Germany. We hang them all. They just they literally do not fucking exist. Can you please for the love of fucking god find something else to obsess over because the Nazis are fucking dead if you have ever wondered what you would have done had you been a member of the so-called greatest generation then simply look around to what you are doing in this moment when a small man with a smaller mustache stood before crowds and proclaimed himself superior to others i see you here doing the same the first books that the nazi party burned were those of magnus hirschfeld in the institute of sexual health some of the first imprisoned under the nazi party rule were home the, the audacity to bring up Hirschfeld and, and the, the Sexual Institute for Wissenschaft. The audacity to bring up that as if that's a point in your favor. Uh, you want to <laughs> talk about root causes for Nazi Germany. That's the one to bring up. Sexual and transgender people. Likely the first woman to undergo a successful, a successful gender reassignment surgery was killed in that same prison. When those prison camps were freed by the Allies, we were the ones who were still kept in prison for our so-called crimes, for loving who we love and for living our truth. We can see through this veneer of legislation and assess the intended target, the continued marginalization and othering of the LGBTQIA plus community. Rhetoric <laughs> he said it. He said the good one. Yay. And to strike fear into the hearts of the people of this state. I will not sit here and debate your fascist ideology as peddlers of intolerance deserve no such stage on a public forum. I will not appear Thank to the notion of tax base of jobs or business growth sir. in this state. Thank you. They are inconsequential of the recognition of the basic rights Time's of your up, fellow people. Thank you for your testimony. The bill is two seconds away from the outdated discriminatory three sir. other laws, for your laws of the 20th century. 
country and I will not stand for it. We will not stand for it. We may not win today and we may not win tomorrow, but we will persist as we always have in the fight of your oppression. If you wish to eradicate transgenderism from the public life, as members of your party have said, <laughs> Seethe. That's a good one. So, uh, as mentioned, the um, the Troons recently set up one of these events in DC called Trans Day of Vengeance, which has now been canceled by the organizers due to credible threat to life and safety. Hmm. I wonder if calling the, your organization the Trans Day of Vengeance and then having it scheduled right after a mass murder perpetrated by a troon. Is that a Lion King? Look, it's Scar, too. Hey! Hey, YMS! Look, it's Scar. It's your boy. She drew that in, in, uh, in crayon or something. A colored pencil for you you should get if you find this at an auction you should buy it hang it up on your wall <laughs> um so they cancel that shit now what's funny about this i was actually going to read more of this article um however i have to afford some time to tucker carlson uh so many of you may have seen a ai or rather machine learning generated video of Tucker Carlson saying horrifically racist things and calling for violence. You may have seen this video. Um, however, he has finally actually read the copy pasta uh, calling for roundhouse kicking and vats of acid and so on and so forth. This is a real video from a 13 minute clip uh, posted directly to the Fox News channel, uh, which I'll play for you. So once again, you should not be surprised at all that there is something called the Trans Day of Vengeance coming this weekend, planned by Antifa in Washington, D.C. It was originally called the Trans Day of Visibility, but the Trans Radical Activist Network, the organizers, decided to change the name just before the massacre in Nashville. Now it's a Trans Day of Vengeance, and they mean vengeance. Vengeance for what? That's not clear. They've been caught, and so they've become more aggressive as people who worship themselves always do. And you can see it all over social media, threatening images everywhere. One trans activist posted this message yesterday, quote, kill Christ cucks, behead Christ cucks, roundhouse kick a Christ cuck into the concrete, slam dunk a Christ cuck baby into the trash can. Attached to this post is an image of someone holding a rifle and wearing body armor. Now you would think in a country supposedly is now you would think that could not possibly be real but this is not a joke this is on the fox what did the comments say no oh, it's all just a, it's like real comments it's not <laughs> nobody is pointing out that he read the copy pasta oh well uh so that's the trans day of vengeance it's canceled it may still happen regardless but things are really heating up in the u.s as uh a particular vocal minority decides that they're just going to start killing people. The reason why, by the way, if you, uh, there is an argument to be made that nobody seems to care when it happens to a school. And it's true. The conservative reaction is definitely much more muted when it's just a regular good old fashioned white boy with daddy's AR killing a bunch of children. Um, for various misaligned reasons. However, that is simply two things. Number one, that is three things, actually. Probably mentally ill people should not have access to guns, uh, that schools should be armed, and it's mental health, which we have no system for in the United States. We literally have zero mental health care in the United States. If you're crazy, if you're lonely and super mentally ill, there's nothing for you. What do you do? You go online and you and you go post on poll and or you join a, a Discord and you jerk off with people in a, in a voice chat while pretending to be anime girls. That's it. That's your mental health care system in the United States. Um, but obviously this one's politically motivated and most of those are not politically motivated. So that's why there's probably a disproportionate amount of 
outrage towards this compared to another kind of, of shooting. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.